On today's episode of Inside Influence, we're talking about different ways that you can leverage the content produced by the influencers. Lots of options available. Let's talk about the top five. So here's the thing, your influencer marketing strategy should not operate in isolation, in a silo. It should complement everything else that you're doing. And for many brands, they struggle with a content strategy. How are we gonna produce video? How are we gonna get amazing photography to reuse across all of our branded channels? And that's what influencers do. They provide you with that content to reuse. So on today's episode, we're gonna talk about the different strategies in terms of how you can reuse influencer content. Let's get to it. So one strategy you can employ to reuse influencer content is to take the posts take the blogs, take the videos, take the photos that they produce and literally use them on your branded channels. You'll find it will complement your branded digital strategy and your content strategy very, very well and you're gonna get increased engagement because these influencers have a broad audience. When you tag them in your content, you're gonna get some extra action. One of the best ways to leverage influencer content is through social advertising. Now here at the Influence Agency, we typically put at least 20% of any budget towards boosting the content produced by the influencers. And we'll definitely recommend to all of our clients have a separate budget for that as well. Why? It's because the content produced by the influencers performs way better than standard, more generic branded content. Higher click-through rate, reduced cost per click, there's some brand recall because most people actually recognize these individuals. That content tends to perform way better when it comes to paid amplification. So influencer content can also be leveraged to support your display campaigns. Now think about it for a minute. Most people that are running display campaigns often have more generic images, perhaps through Shutterstock, something that's not all that compelling, not all that interesting. Now, influencers produce incredible content, great photography that you can reuse through your display advertisements. You're gonna find the click-through rate will go up, a little bit more brand recall because it's just generally more interesting. That's a great way to reuse that content from your creators. So email marketing is another great way to leverage influencer content, and why? Because you build your community around your email newsletters. You talk about what's in the news, what's going on with the company, new products, new services, whatever is happening. And what's happening right now is that you've got this influencer campaign going, highlight their content, highlight any blogs that they've written, highlight videos that they've produced. You can do sponsored videos, sponsored blogs through those influencers. There's a variety of different things that you can do, but it really enriches that email newsletter, adds some additional context, and highlights the work that you're currently doing. Now here's a strategy that is often underutilized. A lot of people when they're running influencer marketing campaigns will work with bloggers, will work with people that will write articles about that product or service, and that's a real opportunity to generate backlinks that will support your SEO efforts. Now a lot of brands out there are working with inbound marketing agencies that are putting a lot of dollars towards how do we produce content and how do we share that content so that we acquire links to prop us up in search results. Working with influencers is a fantastic way to do that. A lot of influencers have blogs with really high domain authorities. You can control the anchor text, you can control the message as well. So that's a great way to leverage your influencer marketing campaign. So in summary, how do you leverage influencer content? Number one, use it across your own social branded feeds. Number two, as social advertising collateral. Number three, get rid of those tired display ads, start using the influencer content in your display ads. Number four, through email marketing. And number five, SEO backlinks that support your inbound marketing efforts. Thanks for watching this episode of Inside Influence. Hopefully this has provided some helpful tips on how to leverage content produced by creators and influencers. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments section below. We'll be sure to answer those. And hit that subscribe button over to the right, and we'll see you in the next episode.